Hey, how's it going? Right, here we are on the last video of the canister canoe Damascus where I took a can or canister of Damascus, a canoe, filled it with offcuts of Damascus, bits, forge welded that out, made the first knife, which is here in the picture. Uh, I was really pleased with that knife, the way it came out. So I'm going to make the second knife today and I asked in the comments for suggestions on what to do with that piece of steel vis-a-vis -vis forge wise and a lot of people actually said twist it so that's what we're going to do so I've got the billet here as you can see I'm going to cut it into four pieces and I'm actually going to forge in a piece of W2 steel in the center and we're going about to get that going so here we go and I will see you right on the end and I will show you the two finished knives complete with handles. Hey right, guys, we better get this forged out before it gets too hot. It's going to be a hot one today. It's already at 21 degrees, 11.30. Not much there, is there? <laughs> Okay, let's round off of this here billet. Make ourselves a little cigar. A hot cigar. Just got to taper each end in. So it will go in the rig. The twisting rig. And you will see in a second that the left hand side is not quite tapered enough. It's not far into the holder enough because it just kind of starts twisting itself out. So I've got to put that back on the anvil and just taper that in a little bit more. doesn't really need a heat to do that. You know, it should be enough. Just check it, make sure it is. There's actually an insert in there that holds a taper. Yeah, that'll do. Right, let's try it again. Yeah, that's better. Right, cool the ends down a little bit to stop them twisting out. It kind of gives the holder a better grip on the steel. You can tell with this little rig, you can tell when the steel has had enough, if you know what I mean, because it's very, very easy when you're twisting steel to just tear it in half. Them spirals, them twists can easily shear uh, and you get a really good feel of what's going on with this little rig. So I'll give it another heat. Let's give it another one. Give the ends a wee dampen down there. You can probably see here that to the right hand side it's twisting more than it is on the left hand side. So 
I'll just cool that down a little bit and it will transfer the twist to the other end because this the right hand side won't will virtually stop twisting now and I think that will probably do yeah he's decided that'll do so let's get it back in the forge get it hot get it under the press flatten it out I actually put some fullering dies in uh, like lengthways and pushed it out sideways on the last pass uh, just to spread the width a little bit and that will do so we can make a knife now and it's all done by half 12 I have just cleaned that down and etched it I was devastated because it looks like which is cursed the stuff is cursed remember I did a video on it not so long ago it went straight through the window I had to get a priest in to exercise the workshop guys I'm going to cut it in half I'm going to forge weld it to a piece of W2 and make a knife Right guys, I am going to forge that out on the press like I did the last one. Work the tipping, work the handling, um, I'll see you in about a second. And that's the outcome. Two very different looking knives, which are the same from the same amount of steel. Uh, two totally different outcomes. Bonnie knives them. Uh, both properly heat treated, tested around about 58-59 HRC. Uh, they will be getting handles on they will be going on my website at some point when i get around and i get time to doing them but i have really enjoyed doing that making them knives i really have yeah overall i'm really pleased with the way those two little knives have come out i've held off a couple of days while i just got the handles fitted on them uh, i've just got sheaths to make now yeah the top one is uh, olive wood the bottom one is Burr Elm, both bonny, really bonny looking blades. They're both properly finished, heat treated and tempered with a 59 HRC edge on them. They'll be getting a leather sheath. Uh, if anyone's interested, they will be going on my website. There's just another one there which I've just finished and that is uh, a hunting knife for Guy with a, a hook on the top. I did do a video on the scrimshaw for the San Mai knife I showed you possibly the last one or, or the video before. I did uh, I've done a video on the scrimshaw doing the scrimshaw on that knife and I, I will edit that and finish it but I have got another knife which requires a lot more detailed scrimshaw work on it like a kind of a portrait which is going to take quite some time to do so when i get around to doing that knife which will probably be in the next two or three weeks i will um i'll show you more a bit more in detail on the scrimshaw side of things okay well thanks to my subs thanks to my patrons many thanks to them for so for their support and um i will see you quite soon in the next vid guys okay Bye for now.